Here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for today's Farm and Ranch News. And how about that moisture we've received over the past few days? Rain, snow, slush. Those of us here on Farm and Ranch Country are very thankful for this shot of moisture. It makes turning pears out to pasture just a little bit easier as it will hopefully give our grass the boost it needs to grow and crops like winter wheat the strength to recover and carry on. You know, some are calling it a million dollar rain. Well, it's probably closer to a $50 million rain. Now we just need some consistent moisture throughout the spring and summer. Is that just too much to ask for? But hey, we will take this rain that we just received, that's for sure. Looking to our headlines now, China's purchase of U.S. grains is one of the main factors in the dramatic increase that has wheat and row crop producers seeing the highest market prices in a decade. USDA economist and trade tracker Dylan Russell shares more on how those actual numbers are shaping up. They're number one for corn and they're number two for unmilled wheat. Wheat is up to 422.9 million, which is an 836% increase. China has bought about $13.4 billion worth of soybeans so far this year. As for corn, is really sort of off the charts. Off the charts is correct. Corn sales to China from the U.S. have went from practically nothing last year to $1.6 billion so far this year. That's an increase of 573,000 percent. Corn prices, though, will be the deciding factor for both wheat and cattle prices here in 2021, no doubt. We'll be right back. 